Lynn, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm gonna finish my hearth, which is right here, <clears throat> which really all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a bow around that little angel's neck here, and uh, that's about all I have right now. I may try to find some stars. I thought I had, well, I have a whole bag of stars here, as you all saw in my last video. And I think a couple of these I actually had, oh, sorry about the lighting there, uh, in here. But I'm not sure I want to put anything else in here except for a bow around her neck, to be honest. Then I'm going to work on this little cozy corner that you can see in this picture right here on top of Chris's subwoofer. And I think I'm just gonna be playing around with a few things in this video. <clears throat> Let me try to get this lighting a little better. My goodness gracious, sorry, I look like I'm, believe me, it's not sunny outside, so I'm not sure where all the glare is coming from. So anyway, uh, let me start by putting a little bow around this little girl's neck, and I need to cut her tag off. I got these grapevine angels, and I'll tell you guys, I might just very well keep these in my decor moving forward in time. I don't think these need to be used just for Christmas or just for, say, Easter. Angels are, angels are around us all the time, you know? Uh, why in the world wouldn't I want to keep an angel in my, my decor all year round? And I love her sitting here with this on this, uh, in my crock along with my pit fairy garland and the pit fairy garland lighting shines right through her it's really cute really 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 cute so i have my ribbon here y'all know i had to order one more roll of this and i feel, feel really bad because i ordered one roll honestly just one roll uh last night and then this morning somebody asked me in a comment about where i got it and i told her and i went to give her a link for this is 50 yards and they were sold out at craftoutlet.com. That's where I get this ribbon, at craftoutlet.com. So I had to give her, a, I'm sorry about that, honey, but I had to give you a link for the 10 yards instead of 50 yards. But anyway, I've been using this like crazy, so I'm going to, I'm just gonna very simply make a, <coughs> excuse me, a, like a little square bow for around this angel's neck, just like I do, uh, you know, for the back of my, how I tie my lantern swags on. Now, I have really no way to show you how to, how I'm gonna do this. Let me see, let me see if I can drop this camera. So here we go. I just, I'm gonna take my ribbon and fold it kind of in half lengthwise, just because she doesn't have a very big neck. <laughs> and let me put it around her neck. And I wanna, I wanna have the left side longer than the right a little bit. Not that it matters, because I'm gonna cut it up anyway. But here we go, around her little neck. In the same way that I do, she's very lightweight. <laughs> it's hard to have her hold still here. But just like I do on the back of my lanterns, left over right. And then make a loop and then go right over left. And just a little, just a very simple little bow just to bring in some of this plaid that I'm using everywhere in this decor and that I use all this is my you know uh, I'm incorporating my this smidge it's not very much smidge of uh, winter decor in with I'm trying I'm trying to there we go in with my cozy country decor, as Jeanette had dubbed that a couple of years ago now. My, in other words, my everyday decor, my generic decor that I have out all year, pretty much, other than really in the fall and in, at Christmas. But throughout the rest of the year, I pretty much augment uh, my cozy country decor. So there we go, just a little bow around her neck and I'm gonna dovetail the scissors looking at the one that's hanging over there I want it to match pretty much I'm gonna dovetail the 
tiny ends. There we go. She looks super cute. And I'm just going to set her right back up here. But I think that's going to be it for my hearth, you guys. Honest to goodness. I really don't want it to be loud. I also want to be able to easily start a fire in this fireplace this winter if it gets really cold. So all I'll have to do is really just move that lantern, which is not a lantern centerpiece. It's just a standalone lantern. Just move the lantern and a couple of stars and maybe this pillow and we can start a little fire, you know? So I didn't want to take up the whole fireplace. I wanted to be able to start a fire. So I just want it very simple, just a little something, something. I need to obviously clean off my, my heart. <laughs> Sorry about that. But again, this pillow I've had for, I, I can't even tell you guys how long, way before we moved into this house though. I used to use it in the other house, I think. And uh, it's almost like it's got a leathery feel to the front of it. It's, it's super cute, super cute. And just, yes, he does have his tree, but I think he looks adorable for the winter months, you know? So that's it for the hearth. And I will get back and take a whole, an all over picture of the hearth and the man and everything together. But let's work on this little cozy corner now. Let me move you a little closer. Let me scoot myself back. I also wanna put a little uh, napkin over this to cover up this red, which I will also do. But I wanted to show you something I found. I found this at Walmart last week. And this is a, one of those wreath hangers. And this was actually with their holiday. It was in their holiday time and it was $12.97. And this is before, I bought this a couple weeks ago. This is before they put their stuff on sale. But I saw it in there and I was like, Chris, and look at it, it's adjustable. Look at that. So let me start it up kind of high because I'm gonna put it back in here. And I have this, and of course you would hang a wreath on there. Well, I don't want a wreath over in this. Again, I'm trying to keep it kind of simple, but I, I think y'all will remember this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang this on here. That looks kind of cute, huh? Just like that. But I want to, I may put these on the floor. I may not even need any kind of uh, little stand, you know? Let me put this back here. Oh my goodness, I love this thing. I'm going to be utilizing this like you would not believe. But I like that. I may have to put them up a little higher because I really want these boxes in here too. And this is the God, God grant me the serenity. Let me see if I can put this up a little higher. This may need to sit up on, oh, hang on. Well, that's as far as it goes there. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. But I want it to be a little higher. So this is gonna go on top of one of these and I will get might not need a napkin you might not be able to see it look at that and then I have my little light there which I need to change the battery in that and then my little boxes how cute is this huh I think I like that I do think I like that of course you can't really see what I'm doing <laughs> sorry let me put you up a little bit higher there we go isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I love it. Tying in with the hearth. Okay, now I wanna work with this a little bit. As you can see, oh, I didn't bring my, I'll turn on the, uh, I'll turn on my fairy lights. You can see my fairy lights are still laying in there. I just had these in and amongst uh, whatever Christmassy stuff I had in there. And I'm just gonna leave them in a jumble in there. <clears throat> Pardon me, and they turn on with a, uh, with a remote control. I'm not gonna put the same thing in here 
I may make a, a tiered bow to go along with this though. I want to tie this towel right on the side of this basket here. I want to make tie it so that the bless this house comes out and hangs down. Our home, excuse me. So now, with the bless this, bless our home, I think I will just set her. I don't want to hide the homemade too much of it. Set her down. Well, that's all right. We can figure out what it says there. Or maybe she can go in the front. Hang on. I like her up in the basket. I don't care if it covers up that a little bit. Doesn't bother me. So that's where she's going to sit and then the lights will be lighting her up. And then I have just a, I have this little fella look. <laughs> Actually, oh, well, I set him over here. Thanks very much. He says, no, I don't like him there. <laughs> set him down here. I got him at a thrift store a couple weeks ago. And then I just have a few little items here. I have my little pitberry tree I could put there. Look here, dude. Sit up there. And then I've got just a few more things. That's it. I do have some stars here. Let me see. Again, I don't... <laughs> This is hard for me not to over decorate, you know, sometimes. And I'm, but I'm trying really hard. Just put some stars in here. Nothing over the top, just a little accent. And I may add some more things, and I've got this little heart here. Right there. Cherish the simple things. But that's it, you guys. I think that'll do it. I need to turn on the lights and uh, I'm going to get a rag out here and wipe down my hearth. It's dusty. But I think that's going to do it. So let me, I was, I did want to make a tiered bow for you guys in this one and I could hang it up here, but I don't want to make it big. I just, I'm going to make a little, just a little accent bow. Maybe I'll, I don't know, there's that one there. Let me uh, turn my camera around here. I will uh, get all my lights turned on and wipe down the hearth and I'll take a, a nice panning video just to music. Let me, I'm going to shut this one down now, and like I say, I'll come back with one last video just panning across everything, and this area is finished. This area is finished. Next area I'll work on probably is the cozy corner over there later on this week. Woohoo! I'm excited to do that. I don't know what I'm going to come up with with that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to go out and buy more stuff. I'm going to use what I have, so hopefully I'll be able to come up with something, but anyway, while I'm looking at you here, uh, let me just say that I hope that uh, those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And remember in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. And I did want to say one other thing too, you guys. 
it do, you don't it, this doesn't have to be hard you know this doesn't have to be convoluted and difficult y'all can do this believe in yourselves trust your gut if it doesn't look good to your eye then don't do it if it does then go with it you know and remember you're doing your own decor in your own homes do what you like do what makes you happy if you're mixing decor that's okay who cares it's in your house if you enjoy looking at it it's okay there are no rules there are no rules all righty with all of that said come back for one last little uh video of everything with all the lights on and everything spiffed up and cleaned up <laughs> Uh, but I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, I'm back real quick. Actually, I'm morphing in here, <laughs> and I'll morph back for my final words. Uh, but I got up to take that all over video and oh my goodness, the space above that little heart that I put on the stand, it looks so bare. So I thought I need to put a bow there. And I and I decided I, I was gonna do one of the plaid bows, but there's a bow on the heart that is like a gingham. I was like, oh, that might clash. So I'm gonna go ahead and make you a little tiered. We're gonna have a tiered bow tutorial here. Uh, I'm gonna do a four loop tiered bow tutorial with just the burlap that I have in the bows up on the mantle. So we're gonna just do a real quick uh, tiered bow tutorial. Easy peasy. But I wanna go ahead and do this tutorial because I know I haven't gotten back to my uh, bow making one-on-one -on -one series. And I will do that when I when things calm down and I get myself all de redecorated again. But um, in the meantime, we're gonna have a tiered bow tutorial. So I'm gonna put my camera down and get situated and we're gonna do this. It's not hard. Four loop tiered bow. Here we go. Just excuse the mess. Pardon my mess. <laughs> I have been, you know, working around here and this is kind of my staging area and I need to dispense with all of this stuff for sure. So I have a pair of scissors and I have a pipe cleaner and this is the burlap that I've been using for my bows. And what I'm gonna use in with the plaid for the bows on the staircase too. So I'm just gonna pull out a good bit of this Go back to the end of it and put the end in, in my case, it's my left hand. My left is my non-dominant hand. The left is what I always hold my ribbons with. And I manipulate the ribbon with my right hand. So holding the ribbon in my left hand, I make one loop. And I try to picture in my head how big I want that loop to be, the first two loops. To be by the way for those of you who have been seeing that little mark on my finger i don't know whether any of you have noticed it but i thought i should tell you i pinched my finger with my uh tripod with my selfie stick one day when i was moving it around and it gave me one terrible blood brister and this thing has been one of the worst things that's ever happened to me <laughs> not really but it has been super sore because you just don't realize how many times you use that finger you know anyway I just wanted to mention that to you guys if you guys have been seeing it and you know it's kind of yucky anyway uh, make your first loop then come down to this piece of ribbon that is still attached to to the roll and make another loop and overlap that little piece right there so that when you pinch it together you have a good overlap and when you go to to fluff your bow when you're finished then that is not going to slide out very easily okay so there's your first two loops now you're going to make your center loop so you i take my forefinger and i just kind of turn it around my forefinger see that and i catch it catch the underneath see that with my forefinger and my thumb and just pinch it, accordion it in there. And that gives you your center loop. Yeah. So then this is two-sided ribbon, so I'm not gonna worry about twisting this. If it was one-sided ribbon, you'd have to twist it to bring the right side up because the bow is gonna hang like this and you want all of your, your 
right sides facing one direction. But in this case, this is two-sided ribbon, and I'm not gonna worry about twisting. So here we go, we're gonna work on our second tier now. Don't go any further than a half an inch out further when you make your loop. And make a loop like that. And then you're gonna be, it, your ribbon is gonna be fed in the way in which you need it to be fed. So you're gonna come out this side automatically and make another loop, not going any longer than a half an inch than the loops before it. And then you pinch it in the back there. Okay, and then your next one, again, don't go any longer than about a half an inch. Catch it, pinch it, and then it was fed automatically out this way. Oh, can you believe what I'm seeing here? Look at that. Let me see where that's gonna end up in my bow. I hate it when they do that and they, they glue it together. This came from craftoutlet.com. I really, that really bothers me when they do that, especially when I'm right in the middle of something here, you know? So anyway, okay, that was gonna work out okay because it's gonna be underneath of this, but still, that, that really aggravates me. Ugh. Anyway, again, don't come out any further than a half an inch. Pinch, and it's fed out this direction again, and Fold it under itself, no more than a half an inch longer. Pinch it together, there you go. Okay, next, I wanna make, I want this bow to have three loops on it. So, I just, I pretty much just put it to my nose and put my hand out, and then I grab the back of that ribbon, twist it and pull it up. You don't have to twist it, just pull it up and that's gonna give you one, two, and then this is gonna be your third tail. One, two, three tails. Then you take your pipe cleaner, feed it underneath that loop, not through your thumb ring, which I was just fixing to do. All my rings are getting big on me because I'm losing white, and things like to, these pipe cleaners like to snug their way down right underneath there. Okay, pull it about halfway through, Lift your thumb, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Use your hand that you're holding the ribbon shut with as resistance. Get these other fingers on your other hand up as close as you can to the back of the bow and twist. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, now the way we handle these tails is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of Cut it off right there about as long as that big loop was. Cut it off. And then cut this big loop in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some fluffing. So we just fluff this out, just like any other bow. Just fluff it out, get your hands in there, make the loops as big as you can get them, you know and you can pull them and manipulate them any way you want. Make them go any way you want. You can, when it's wired ribbon, you can make one, you know, if, if you happen to make one loop longer than the other, you can always kind of tap it down and make it look like it's the same size. And, uh, you know, make it look the way you want it to look. So then, I'm gonna lay this down on the table, sorry. Lay it down on the table here, and I'm gonna cut my three tails. So I usually do the sides first and I just go up at an angle. Oops, just like that. And I try to make these two match, of course. Oh my goodness, I did a terrible cutting job there. Come on now. Okay, and then I just do dovetail a little bit longer than the end of this I like the dovetail part to be just a smidge longer than the sides and there we go there's a pretty little tiered bow isn't that pretty I love it absolutely love it all right now I'm going to go and tie this on 
right above that heart that I put on the stand, and then I'll be back for just a pan across of everything set to music.